Grand Rising. Today I am hosting um, my first Black Travel Tribe meetup in a very, very long time. Um, we are in Florida. I'm at Daytona Beach. It's going to do a beach day. Hopefully the weather is guide to us. Um, it's supposed to rain part of the day um, and not be super sunny. But Looking forward to meeting up with the people that I'm going to hang out with today. So stay tuned to our adventures. Look at the sky. I just stopped at the Walmart to grab some ice and dog food, and now I'm headed to the beach. See you there. I got the sunrise. time so um why does this feel like date i've had two deja vus back to back like this is a deja vu like if even with him walking up from the side but just being parked on the, like i just had like a moment of deja vu and then yes it was it yesterday i had another one i came i came bearing gifts Yay, I, love I went i went um dumpstering i'm Ooh. getting better but i caught it on a bad day but at aldi's why did I find a bottle of Moscato? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I traded it for a bottle of red Even from better. my from from Brie, but um, some mushrooms. Awesome. Um, some apples. Mm. Some pretty goodish mangoes. Oh, it was like a that. box of mangoes. Like salsa with that. Ooh. And I'm gonna eat a couple of these, but I brought some mm -hmm. for you. Mm. Thank you. Yes. That's awesome. From uh, giving gifts back to my teacher. <laughs> and you know what? This could be made. I don't know. Should we make a breakfast? Or what What do you feel? Are you hungry? Do you do things? I'm gonna, what are you feeling? I don't eat this early in the morning, but I am going to eat these oranges because my, oh. my, my, my blood sugar is saying you should probably have yeah. a little something. Heck yeah. So, yay. And I hadn't, I haven't really promoted the Black Travel Tribe membership thing in a minute. And just randomly, she just signed up and made money. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. So I was like, hey. Uh, and she was coming to Florida. I was like, you should come. That's awesome. So she was like, oh, yeah. Yay. Hey, Miss Cadera is coming. <laughs> Girl, you not looking at your phone? I am recording for Black Travel Time. Hey, you too. What's up? Hey. Miss Cadera. <laughs> Shout out to Cadera. What's the name of your bus again? PK Schooly. PK Schooly. Hurry, PK Schooly. <laughs> Hurry, PK Schooly. <laughs> I'm my people doing. Grand Rising good. How are you? I'm glad you are that situation with the vehicle guys. Oh, oh I know. Yeah. We got a new Black Travel Tribe member coming in. 
The back of her thing says nurse life, so she might be a nurse. Oh. I don't know really anything about her. Like again, I haven't met her. She just randomly signed up like a couple of weeks ago. And awesome. she came down to Florida and I invited her. So hey. This is Ashnay. Ashnay. Christina. Christina, Tasha, Hadira, Jagalora. Yes, welcome, welcome. Come on Ooh, in. This is off stage. <laughs> it's so similar to yeah. that. I have some too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, we're, we're, I think we're all here. And what, what, it felt like was last week or the weekend before I was trying to see her, right? It was like two weeks ago. Yeah, two yeah, weeks yeah. ago. Yep. Yeah. And oh, when you got stuck in the brain. Right, so the day before, I got my alternators replaced. Mm. So I'm thinking, okay, now I...
sat there for uh no drove drove there and then two days later the the battery died it didn't take anything off triple a charged me whatever then it did it again the next night now it's colorado it's cold it's winter mm. january so come to find out i noticed that the lights were coming on by itself Adrenaline. killing your stuff yeah, killing mm -hmm. my stuff of course, it was New Year's when I got to, uh, so I had to wait. Until oh, I, that holiday wait. Right, oh that weekend. God. Like five yeah. days work. instead of two. Right. Yeah. They didn't believe me because it was like, what are you talking about? Put a new battery in there. They said they probably didn't put a new battery. But why would you need a new battery on a vehicle that's 300 miles? Why wouldn't they? Right. Mm -hmm. So when I told them that, and then it took them a week uh, for them because, okay, so when you go to a, the dealership mechanics, they just have regular hokey dope mechanics. All your change kids like people mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah, regular yeah. they need a specialist and when they need a specialist those specialists travel to different forts like they go to different um, dealerships yeah. they don't just stay in the one dealership I had to wait for that person to come couldn't figure it out after that they saw it on video that the lights came on but you know i told them that the lights were coming on by themselves and then uh turns out i had a malfunctioning chip mm -hmm. problem is post pandemic or still in the pandemic mm -hmm. and um they were back order. Ship had, Ford had the back order. My van was sitting in Ford for three months. Oh my! I had no vehicle and no and house. no help. <laughs> right? Because I was right. and this is empty cargo van. Nothing. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm in Colorado with no family and I'm transitioning. I travel healthcare. I just travel GI Tech. Travel. So I'm wondering tech, you're so, yeah, yeah. So I travel. That's why I'm here. And so I'm traveling, starting a new job with no vehicle, and because of Ford having issue, everybody's having issues with their vehicles. They had an influx of people coming in, so they didn't have any loaner cars. So I had to take my money oh, and no. go to Enterprise and rent a car and fight Ford to reimburse me back my money. So I was paying my car note. All of a sudden, a new apartment and then um, paying for a rental which was $300 a week oh. for three months. Dang. And then I had to fight with Ford and they didn't want to buy it back even though I bought it and within 30 days I was like, this is a lemon, you guys got to, you know, just right. give me another, nothing happened. No, I didn't do anything with the van, I just bought it. So right. I just converted it, they was like literally off the lot. Just right. give me another yeah, one. Right. Wouldn't do it. Ford, it's a whole debacle. Mm. Hold the back up. And they really, and they never did it. What? And you they had to fix it because it was oh, on the warranty. They, they fixed it, yeah. but they, they didn't want it. to. They didn't, and because <laughs> they when you have the warranty, to. they have to charge for it so they can't charge you. So mm -hmm. when it's, it's not your money, it's Ford money, house right? money, they're going to take their time. They're not in a, mm -hmm. any type right? of rush to do it well, because they have, they're not really going to get paid exactly. to do it. So there was that whole debacle of um, trauma with this van. Yeah. And then I started uh, my van life the week of gutted in Colorado. Oh, that show? Oh, oh, they put that window in for me. Oh, so you were the, you were, your vehicle was part of the... No, it wasn't because the, I found a, uh, I, I got an outfitting company and he was like, oh, I'm going to be a gutted. And I was like, okay, I'm going to gutted. He said, oh, okay. buy the window and put it in at gutted. I was like, okay. Oh, okay. So it, we became part of it, but it wasn't, oh, it wasn't okay. planned that way. Um, from gutted, so it was like a, like a ticket shop. I'm totally spoiled by West Coast family. I know, because it's definitely, it, it, there's definitely a different vibe. See, I had the reverse a little bit because really? when I went out west, like out here, and like I feel like the East Coast definitely hones in a lot of people that are like, doing it for fun right got kind you. of thing they that got, vibe they got all the money they got they you got money you do your little thing and then also like when you're on road trips and you're digital nomads and stuff like that when you go out west it the more of the vibe is like you're doing it to survive kind mm -hmm. of thing like okay. there's a lot of homeless houselessness or homelessness yeah. happening okay. with van life and rv life out there like especially california specifically but Right. Uh, yep. Even though that's a that's a con in a sense, but it's still a pro because 
it allows for more space. Right, right, they right. made it so that you can dwell in your vehicle on the street, certain street right, or whatever. Right. There's green zones. And then when you get to Arizona, there's all that BLM land. 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 So it's like, it's, it's, it's a lot easier to, to do. It's more tolerable, yes. Right. Um, but I feel like sometimes the vibe is a little bit different with some of the people you come across. and, and Cause they don't um, want you there. Yeah. Like, oh, it's more of like a stigma. Yeah. But when you come to Florida, people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Now there's certain parts of Florida. The, the West Coast is the best coast. Like East Coast for me and um, Orlando areas where I've been at is not super good with that. But once you get to like, once you pass Orlando area, the Southwest Florida, um, Land management, they have all these different places where you can park, camp for free. Well, that's There's right. nothing on this side. St. Yes, John's, Ca Saint John's oh, County doesn't allow van vehicles to, all, to really. camp. You can go out there with a car or a van, but you got a tent camp in the, yeah. out oh, in the thing. And I'm like, nah. There's nothing for so that, that I've learned, because I was supposed to get a job in Sarasota. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to the Van Life, Florida, first annual Florida Van Life event here, mm -hmm. um, last month of February, mm -hmm. February. Um, then that's when everybody's telling me, oh yeah, you'll be fine in Sarasota, you'll be fine in Sarasota. I lived in, I was in Tampa last year um, for five weeks before I went to um, Annette's, um, Trip. Oh, you went to yeah, well, I, did. Yeah, I had to support. Okay. I had yeah. to support. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I uh, Tampa to me was hard. Tampa was hard to find. But I do street. I do city van yeah, right? okay, yeah. That's the thing. I don't because I have to work. Yeah. Right? Right, so right, I can't yeah. be too too far away. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. All the good spots are either in or you know, right. out of the way. So Tampa was hard. City van like Florida is just hard. They did. I, they designed it where you can't do the street stuff right they designed it that way and i didn't even figure that out it's like i get it because if a thousand kids then everybody would do it right, right, right. and then nobody would pay for the expensive hotels right because mm -hmm. everybody would just yeah, be in the rv park, right? right and then um rv parks you know, all the snow but you can't you have to make six months in advance and i'm like right. i don't know where, right. where, where am I, how do i know but where, where i'm gonna be in six months like, right, right. so those are people that like to be stationary mm -hmm. they can't find it but like I don't know. Oregon was easy. Seattle was easy. Mm -hmm. Colorado is so easy. Right? Yeah. Um, Phoenix was hard. Yeah, Phoenix was hard. Phoenix is hard. The only thing I liked about Phoenix is <laughs> they had the dopest laundry mat there that what? I just couldn't like. It was clean. It was That's fresh. The the they gave you like know, a discount like, on some of your yeah. laundry. Yeah. I put it. I put it in a video. Like yeah. it was like so dumb. I will never forget yeah. that place. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember about Phoenix that I like. But it's hard to park there if you're not gonna be in a truck stop it's or a casino. Which yeah. I don't mind casinos, but some of them are truck truck stops are allowed. Very Tru loud. Truck stops are allowed. Yeah. Rest stops. I do mostly rest stops if I'm traveling. Travel. Mm -hmm. I do mostly rest mm -hmm. stops. Yeah. The fact is that I don't know the area, but when I when I do when I work here and live here, it's mm -hmm. different. Yeah. When I, Go to different things and go to different events, and then I'm like, oh, ah, I can park here, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But like, if you're traveling through, like, I haven't done a, I, I not drove from Oregon to Tampa, mm -hmm. and I haven't done a road trip where I get off and stop and wander and then drive. I haven't done that. Right. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in my van two years in September, and I still haven't. Oh, well, that's my goal. Living? I, I travel. Was, it's kind of hard. Traveling nurse. It, it's under the it, umbrella, it, it, so it's easy for me to just say travel nurse, but I'm not an RA. But I do. Because um, I'm an LPN. That's the okay. Yeah, yeah. Because that's why I can't. If I tell people I travel nurse, they're like, oh, okay. But if I tell people in healthcare that I'm a GI tech and that's sterile processing tech, they oh, get it. So, okay. But if I say, oh, I'm a sterile processing tech, they're like, what? <laughs> what is a GI tech? Oh, my yes. I'm a I've been cool. doing, that, doing that for seven years, and then I fell in with, um, stumbled across. Is it legal to live in your car? Look, yeah. there's an ice cream truck on the beach. Oh, shoot. There's <laughs> old folks on the ice beach. cream sled. Oh, so, they could be on the oh, beach, and we could have been on the beach. I'm so nervous, though. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, like, I didn't I want to go down there. I, 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 can, it, right, I cannot pay. And it's supposed to rain. Oh, a problem. Yeah. 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 I know, like, that's why I parked this That's why I parked this way. Right 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 so we could just walk out. Yeah. We could walk there. We could walk right there. It ain't It's right there. We got this. Yeah. I can, I'm not playing with toes yeah. and all this I got stuff. You, they're okay, but... Um, I've tried both. I did AAA yeah. and then I had Good Sam. Ooh, as far as plus, Good Sam's is, is triple. It's... Good Sam is um, a brand of 
travel. It's like a travel. It's like AAA. It's basically okay. AAA, Perfect. but more geared to RVs. RVs. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, so like it's that. not as hard to find find something to lift you. Yeah, like there okay. when you get know. when you get there roadside. They know. They know. They know. Right. <laughs> But not all triple A's. Right. Go they right, yeah, you, right. Well, no. bigger vehicles, right. which I we didn't know. Yeah. You, you have, have to get up, the RV. You gotta get upgrade to the RV triple A. Things that they yeah. should be teaching you in school, they don't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, I got the RV triple A. Yeah. 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 So you gotta say that. Right. Like, no, I'm just getting regular triple A, and then right. I got snowed in Colorado. Oh, oh no. But you, you, I don't think you need RV triple A. No, I don't. But I it just. I don't mind paying the extra because when I got snowed you in, you get more miles. Right, right. You, get, you, get, you, get, you get more miles. Ah. Yes, makes and sense. Makes more sense. money, more you know, yeah. that right. you a little bit something. But I got snowed in. And, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I need to do a whole pros and cons video on the two because I yes. tested out both of them. But good. like, so just right off the bat, like AAA. What I didn't like about AAA initially is that you have there's a waiting period when you sign up yes, you before you can start using it. Um, at Good Sam doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. um, comparable in price, if you depending on like what time of the year you buy it. Like I got mine like on a, uh, I got Good Sam on a um, mm -hmm. Black Friday deal, gotcha. and I I'm got two years. Now, you I got two years it, yes. for the price of one, <laughs> so I was like, you know, I'll do it. But as far as customer service, I would say that AAA. I've had a better experience customer service wise okay. with AAA, like using oh, wow. the roadside. Because Good Sam, I swear they have, it's not even good, like their customers. I feel like they have like a third party and I always get the same lady and I'm just like, <laughs> yo, she had me stuck on the highway for hours Dang. one time. I had to keep calling back. She was like, oh, they haven't got me. I'm like, no, like, what, what? <laughs> put this as an emergency. All right. I'm like, please, 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 please. Okay. Um, Dang. And then, yeah, I've had just bad customer service when it comes to Good Sam, but. Overall, I want to do a third because I'm not. I don't. I didn't really like either one. I want to try out my insurance in this yeah, roadside yeah. to see, see which if that yeah, good. changes. If they use, I don't know if they use the same. Company. I would think that they'd be faster because they they. Well, because the way AAA works is that you have the AAA umbrella, then you have different tow trucks. Companies yeah, that they just go out through the, yeah, yeah. Because yep. that's what right. happened to me when I got snowed in. Then he was like, uh, he didn't know where my coordinates were. Like even though I put in the GPS, he didn't know where, where I was. And he was like, uh, he thought I was someplace else. And he was like, if I can't get up there, I'm not coming to get you. Right. And there's nobody around here to. I'm the only one in this area. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you're AAA. Right. Get me. I'm stuck. Like right. they gotta have right. my stuff again. Right. They got them in my home and right. not in a car because. Right. And the thing is, I saw cars go out, leave. So I said, "Okay, I can leave." Nope, no. You didn't have the snow tires. They didn't have the snow tires. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to air down my tires, which I don't know what this, this thing about air down and traction. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, right. Right. So I, I'm like, and then he was like, "What are you doing out here with no snow gear?" I'm like, "I'm a city girl. I don't know." What I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily, I, I was at a state park, so a campsite park, so that oh, way he was able to get in and out. Right. And he was like, okay, okay, it's fine. He, I get it now. Yeah. And I was like, so I do need to get my trip. I need to go get those trips. Yeah. Um, you going back to Colorado when it's snowy? No, I would be stupid. I, I love, love Colorado, Colorado. It's but so it snows in September. <laughs> it's the end of August, it's September. A, I was escaping a, a snow store. I was like, it's still summer. What <laughs> is happening? Yeah, that's the only problem. And I, but the thing about it was, I was in Denver. So, yeah. again, city van life is one thing because in Denver, because of the mile high mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. it melts, right? Mm -hmm. But then when I was, I was in 30 minutes away outside of Denver. Mm -hmm. It don't melt. 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 Stuck here, aren't I? <laughs> With a, a non converted van. Oh, the sun is coming out this it year. Is. Oh. It's 
not even spring yet and it's spring break. <laughs> At least I can do a photo. Jack. Okay, there you are. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where did you go? Oh, it was 10 seconds. I'm usually alone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a bunch of people parked up. Yeah, 10 seconds to figure out perfect way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we're <laughs> Guard dogs, kind of. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the Out here set up black travel tribe daytona beach we're getting some sunlight and some good cooperation in the weather right now but we got christine in her van and then we got kadira here she's of the orange school bus there and then we've got jagalore here she's in the green and you know queen tasha so hey we out here
Bree, I'm getting you on camera for the video. Look who showed up, a BTT OG. She pulled up in the Prius car camping. You such a dork. <laughs> It would be difficult on camera. Right. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a luxury item for sure. It's a luxury nomad item for sure. I'm out here for good. Woo! Hey, and she's out. <laughs> and it's electric? Yeah, it's electric too. I had an electric scooter for a while, but my shit broke. <laughs> this is really the first time she's really enjoying riding it. Yeah. She said she took it around her neighborhood when she first got it. But. like I don't know if I could do anything else and I thought that there was a question like I was going to ask her asking her how long she was in it because I wanted to know if there was an average time where people just we out here parking lot pimping he got two buses over here and then he got the purple pilots and he got my friend and her van over here we doing big things see you in the morning Part two of the Black Travel Tribe meetup. Um, camped out at the good old Cracker Barrel. <laughs> got me and uh, Christina over here. And then we've got Jack and Peter over here. So we're about to head in to have some breakfast. And uh, yeah, should be nice. Contraption over here. What are those lay down bikes? They're traveling with two lay down bikes. Bet you with some white people. <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay. Hope we've got the first rise. Hey, look who's look, look who's looking fly today with the wig on. Hey. <laughs> Good. That guy is like fascinating. He was like going around filming everybody. Yeah. Look at this thing. They've got two lay down bikes on a rig. Like, what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Let's go this. I 
think it's weird that he did put it on that side though. This. That's her black tank or gray tank. <clears throat> yeah, when you go to like Arby Parks, everything's on that side. And it was on that side at first, but then he was like, oh, it's not safe. But I'm like, now it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Hey. For a few minutes. I didn't get that memo. Maybe I should go change. <laughs> I was like, I want to be warm. I didn't want to take my clothes off because they were warm. What'd she say? I don't have internet at the time. I don't have internet at the time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have internet. It's coming along. You want a hair bonnet? I cover your hair while you go in. Okay. I'm using a fork now. I don't know if she's working. <laughs> I want to dress up, but uh, my hair won't let me. I'm not allowed to dress up until I get can do my hair. I thought I'll be pretty for a few seconds, and then I might have to get over it. I was like, I'm gonna stay warm. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Yeah. Oh, Jack, I'm, my place is so organized. I can walk, there's nothing in the way. Everything's, oh my, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so elegant. I'm like, I'm hey. hey. not telling the floor. Like, I'm 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 like, i am like i have you done your morning ritual yet? No, I gotta do mine too. <laughs> Ooh, I want to sit here. <laughs> So we're just gonna caravan out. So we're just gonna caravan out. I'll leave. Right now? Well, get your stuff, you know, get your stuff. Okay, but we're gonna all leave together. On the floor. Yeah, I gotta put all my. I know, right? I gotta take care of everything. Yeah, me together. too. We're just okay. all honking each other when we're ready. Yeah. <laughs> Curious to know what happened to this light right here. What happened? <laughs> this light oh. is all bent down. I'm like, what happened to you? RV <laughs> must have, RV uh, must have like bit, bad, backed bad. up oh, or like sure. tried to turn around and then sure. fuck that shit up, y'all. <laughs> what is he doing? Did he just make a U-turn around that fucking car? Is he insane? Oh, let's go. Go, 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 get you, go, 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 go. to Ormond Beach. We're caravanning, but I'm in the front of the caravan, which was a bad idea since I'm filming.
Well, that's all for this video. I realized when I was editing this video that I did not do an outro. So I decided that I would just pop on here and finish up the video by letting you know that we had an awesome time just having a girls solo nomad um, meetup. That's not what what the meetup was intended for, but that's how it ended up. And it just was such great vibes. And made some really good memories. Me and Jag were the last two people to leave and we went our separate ways and so that was the Black Tribal Tribe Daytona Beach Meetup video. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you are interested in being a part of the Black Tribal Tribe, I am revamping the website blacktribaltribe.org where you can sign up for a membership. There are two memberships, the paid membership, which is $35 a year, which gives you access to all of the membership um, benefits on the website, which you can get more information on the website about those benefits. You also get access to the meetups and caravans and also special group trips in the future. There's also a free membership, which just gives you access to the directory of people that are members so that you can coordinate meeting up with them. This is to make a tribe of people who are like-minded and that are nomadic and live alternatively in a vehicle and to bring us together so that we can have a directory of people that we can reach out to. Um, and so, yeah. You'll get access to the directory and you get to come to the meetups for free. If you're interested in being part of the Black Travel Tribe and coming to the next meetup and maybe being in one of the next videos, please go to blacktraveltribe.org to get more information. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings. I'm out.